Hey everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Terry Hunter. I'm an intuitive astrologer, angel therapy practitioner, Reiki master, and empowerment coach. And I'm here today to talk about the new moon in Capricorn on December 23rd, 2022 at 2.16 a.m. Pacific time. It will be at one degree Capricorn. I think this is a really powerful new moon. The phase of the new moon is when the sun and the moon come together. It's the darkest phase of the moon. It's where we plant seeds. We plant intentions. We can um, begin a new cycle. And oftentimes it can be um, inspired by the previous full moon's revelations. And this particular um, new moon is um, is squaring Jupiter. Jupiter is returning back into Aries. It will enter Aries on the 21st and it will be at zero degrees from the 21st through this new moon. And as a result of that, I think that's very powerful. This zero degree is, is one of the critical degrees and it is the cr critical degree of the self coming into Aries, um, Aries representing how I, my physical body, it represents, um, we oftentimes refer to it as the warrior, but now I want to refer to it as the individual and the pioneer moving my story forward. Um, in many ways, as Jupiter moves back into Aries, it's going to offer an opportunity not only for expansion and for growth and for wealth, but also to uh, have a renovation of some beliefs that may no longer serve me or not actually relevant anymore in my life. Hence the square. Capricorn by nature is stoic. It is um, dutiful and responsible and disciplined and tenacious and determined. Um, it wants to build in the material world. It wants what it um, it's it's amassed to be seen by others. It naturally rules the tenth house, which is in the public eye, my public rep reputation, my goals and aspirations for my career. Um, and when the moon is involved, a Capricorn moon, to me, this is a little less emotional per se, and more um, serious, more practical, maybe a little bit, you might say. Um, so this to me feels like an opportunity to take practicality and to bring that into the present day, meaning this Capricorn rules our history. So if our history is bumping up against our new beliefs, the square to Jupiter, there is an opportunity to take this moment and decide, am I going to continue a path that doesn't really serve my happiness? Because on the same day as the new moon, Chiron, Chiron, which represents our wound, it also represents our gift. In Aries, it has been retrograde and it's going direct. So in no short time, meaning in short time, Jupiter is going to meet up with Cap uh, Chiron in Aries. So this new moon is a very spiritual new moon. It is a, it's an opportunity to take the structural dynamics and the determination of Capricorn and the willing to do the hard work and applying it to my new spiritual beliefs, allowing myself the diversity that, that Jupiter offers, the wealth, the expansion in not just um, my material success, but also in my spiritual, emotional success, in allowing myself to, to expand on what I believe about me and my capabilities. So I think that this is going to be a really, really, it's going to set the tone uh, for the, the coming year. As we move into the new year, we're going to see Mars and Mercury in retrograde. And while they're in retrograde, there'll be this kind of slowing feeling, things moving slowly. But I think that is going to give an opportunity to really tend to and nurture the, the emotional, spiritual, and material seeds that you plant in this new moon. 
I think Capricorn is one of my favorite signs. They all have their challenges, but when it comes to um, the stamina it takes to make your dreams come true, Capricorn has that ability. So I hope you'll all look and see uh, where you want to grow in the new year, where you want to build new structures based on your uh, focused thought on your intention and connection with your spiritual center. Jupiter is going to rule your spiritual center. And you may even find yourself um, incorporating various schools of thought into your own sort of hybrid of spirituality that helps you to be more pioneering and brave and courageous as you move forward. This zero degree and this first degree new moon they make a 10 there. So I think that there's an opportunity for your life to become a 10 as you are patient with yourself, as you're willing to be tenacious upon the path of unveiling the imprinted beliefs that no longer really serve the version of yourself moving forward. So I hope you'll all celebrate the holidays and this new moon um, with a sense of hope and faith for the future. Uh, I've been thinking of things sort of when they get disruptive, it's divine disruption. Somewhere spirit is illuminating uh, a belief that's no longer serving me. So if you find yourself in, in a situation that is a little bit, you know, with that Mars Mercury retrograde thing going on, um, look deeply where you're giving yourself permission to live the evolved version of, of who you are. All right. That's it. Me, Terry Hunter. If you'd like to book a reading, I am available and I will be back on Sunday morning at 11 a.m. Pacific time with our weekly angel scopes. That's where we um, look at the upcoming transits and get the angels advice for traversing those transits. In the meantime, everybody take care of yourself. Peace out.